All right, here, a student hastily hooks up a thermistor circuit, and they may not have it uh, exactly like they wanted it, okay? Um, after that, the student puts the thermistor into water at 40 degrees C, and he happens to know for the little thermistor uh, element that he's using that it uh, behaves according to the table that's shown right there for the different values uh, relative to the temperatures. Okay. Um, he knows that the resistor value over there, R, is, he knows that this over here is uh, 10.1 kilo ohms. Okay. And so then it says the number that the Arduino will store into variable val, that's this line right here, uh, when it runs that line of code, okay, uh, will be closest to. How do we do this problem? Okay. Let me show you the trickiest part first. Here's the trickiest part right here. Okay. Look where this wire is plugged in. That wire is not plugged in to a 5-volt pin. Right? That's why the problem, you know, in almost too obvious a way says may not have connected everything as he intended, right? It's like a little bit of a clue that's thrown to you right there. All right, so what's the circuit actually doing? We go from 3.3 volts through what? Okay, I think in a lot of our uh, materials, we've kind of used a little uh, symbol that looks like that for a thermistor. And then it goes through a 10.1 kilo ohm resistor there before it goes to ground. Okay, and where are we measuring the voltage? Okay, the, the voltage we measure whenever we use this analog read function is relative to ground. Okay, so that's the voltage that we're reading right there. And how much resistance should we have on this uh, thermistor up here if it behaves according to what this table says? It says that the temperature is at 40 degrees. That means that the resistance value is going to be 5740, right? So I say this is 5740 ohms. Okay, and what I'm trying to figure out is what's the voltage going to be right there, because that's the voltage that I'm going to feed into the um, A0. Okay, how do I figure that voltage out? Okay, we're trying to figure out analog read. We don't know analog read for this one. We're trying to figure out what should it be saying for analog read. So what I'll show, show you here is that this is a circuit where we can figure out what current flows through it, right? How do I know what current flows through it? Okay, yeah, Ohm's law says that V equals IR. In this case, finding the equivalent resistance for this whole circuit's not too hard because it's just all in series, right? So I just add up everything that I have right there and I know V and I know R so I can find I, right? So it'll just be equal to 3.3 .3 volts over 5,740 ohms plus what is 10.1 kilo ohms? 10,100 ohms, okay? So let's start there. And let's get 3.3 divided by uh, 5740 plus 10100. Okay, so that gives me 0 0.0002083 amps, right? How does that help me? Yeah. 
Yeah, that's the current that goes all the way through all of this, right? So that's also the current that goes through the 10.1 kilo ohm resistor, which means I can figure out what this voltage is across that 10.1 kilo ohm resistor. How? Ohm's law again, right? We just take that current, okay? So I'll say V across the 10.1 K is going to be equal to 0 0.0002083 amps times 10.1 kilo ohms or 10,100 ohms. So I've already got that number right up here. I'll multiply by 10,100 <clears throat> to get 2.104 volts. Now, that's not quite what I need yet, but I need that to get what I do need. Okay, what do I need to get? Okay, I need the analog read number. Now, keep in mind, it's going to have a number somewhere between 0 and 1023, and it will scale according to that number. So, you know, the numbers, uh, as far as the voltages it's reading, it's expecting a value somewhere between 0 and 5 volts. And 0 and 5 volts scales to 0 to 1023 as far as the numbers going into analog read, right? Um, and the question was just asked, don't we use 3.3 volts now? Let me ask you the question back. Does the Arduino know that I plugged this circuit into the 3.3 volt pin? It doesn't know that that's what's happening as far as the circuit is concerned. Right? All it knows is that it's looking for a voltage between 0 and 5 volts at the analog uh, input. Right, So we don't want to go back and put in a 3.3 there because we haven't done anything that will change the reference uh, as far as that uh, voltage that it's expecting to read on that analog input. So what should we do? Okay. Well, it's going to be actually pretty easy. So the analog read... Okay, is going to just be equal to the voltage that's being fed into it, 2.104 volts, times what, you think? 1023 per 5 volts. Right? So when I plug this value in and into, uh, you know, that fraction, 1023 divided by 5, That'll end up giving me 430.5. Okay, and the closest value to that here is F. That one had a couple of tricks in it, didn't it? So, let me give you this general piece of advice. Make sure you read the questions carefully, right? Try to make sure you see all the little bits and pieces that it's handing you. Yes? So whenever you're doing analog steps, you're basically using 5 volts instead of 3.3 because the reason we use 5 volts here instead of 3 volts here instead of 3.3 is that the Arduino is set up to expect the signal to come in on, a, on any one of the analog inputs, it's expecting that signal to be somewhere between zero and five volts, right? And what you do to generate that voltage that you feed into that pin, it doesn't necessarily care, right? It's just sitting there ready to read the, uh, you know, whatever voltage comes in, and it's gonna do that on this scaling basis going from 0 to 1023 for voltages from 0 to 5 volts, okay? Now, not to throw too many kinks in this, um, I will mention this, though, that Arduinos do have some interesting uh, lines of code that can be run that can change what that internal reference voltage is, okay? Um, 
We don't necessarily use that in here, but there are some lines of code that are kind of interesting. You can change what that internal reference is going to be. But if you haven't changed it, if you're just using it default, it's going to go to a 5 volt reference. So 5 volts would be that full scale reading uh, at 1023. Okay. Cool. Any other questions on that one?